Maya, did you think you were gonna die when you jumped off the waterfall? Yes. Mm -hmm. And guess what? You're here today. Getting his first car <laughs> at Toyota. <laughs> Excited? I think so. <laughs> you think you're gonna get your first car today? I guess so. Where are we at right now? We're at Toyota. Dick Hannah's Toyota. Is it Dick Hannah's? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, it is Dick Hannah's. No. In Tesla. That's be cool and fun. Are you nervous? A little bit. Do you feel like you're growing up right now? Yeah. Let's open that car sooner. But <laughs> getting hot chocolate for your nerves. <laughs> <laughs> it's like those packets. Right there. And coffee. You put coffee and then hot you cocoa in it? Co yeah, coffee and hot cocoa for Kramer. It's actually really good. Isn't that called like poor man's coffee or something? Yeah. So today is going to be my friend Mrs. Son's graduation party. It is her first kiddo graduating. So it's like her baby and I'm super excited for her. So I'm gonna go buy some snacks for the party and then I'm gonna go help them set up and it's gonna be a super fun Sunday. And I can't believe it's already June, 2019, you guys. That is just crazy to me. Where has Coffee. time gone? It's like my favorite thing to do. What kind of coffee do you guys all drink? I personally like keto coffee or I get iced Americanos with the heavy cream, which is what keto coffee is. And then usually I'll get like four pumps of a sugar-free syrup. Sometimes I'll get the regular syrup because it's still pretty low in sugar, but I try to be as healthy as possible. I try to eat as less carbs and sugar as I can. I started doing that a couple of years ago and I lost so much weight. So let me know in the comments what kind of coffee you guys like. I love trying new stuff and I am all about I'm coffee. the graduation party with my coffee, which tastes amazing. The chips, it should be super fun. I live like a couple blocks away. graduation party went so good it was so fun I didn't really want to record while I was there just because it's all my friends family and you know I'm weird about if I don't have you know permission to be in the YouTube channel especially since it's public so um apologies that I can't really show you clips um I'm gonna show you a couple of selfies i'll insert those right here um of me and my friends and it was super fun uh looking forward to graduation next weekend it's crazy because it does not even seem like it's june like this is crazy it's almost july <gasps> that puts us halfway through the year you guys that is nuts
else's life right now. <laughs> like I've got my gym clothes. That's my breakfast, my lunch bag, my purse. And oh, I can't even see this over here. The laptop bag. I mean, really? I don't even have hands to open a door. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you have the same struggle. I literally work a full-time 40 hour a week job about three hours away from home. Well, okay, hour and a half, hour and a half back. And then I have my business and I work out and I cook all my food. I've actually got a nice baked chicken with a nice little vinaigrette sauce marinade thing. Um, so yeah, do any of you else have that same struggle? Getting ready to life. head home and make some Dana. Y'all, I actually like pushed myself at the gym today. So, I, this lady just stared at me like, what's wrong with you? Sorry, I'm coming out of a gravel parking lot. Like, what do you want me to do? Don't stare at me. Um, yeah, so I did some stretching, which is really good because I'm really bad at stretching. I should be better at it, especially since, you know, I coach and I run. Um, and then I did some squats and I'll be posting a picture of that or a video clip, I've been excited. And then I did abs. I love this like ab machine, really, really works my abs. And then I did the stair climber and I really pushed myself to do a hundred floors of stairs climbed. I literally had to bump it up to level like 16 for the last three minutes to get to a hundred floors and I did it. I'm so proud of myself. So that picture will also be on my IG or maybe I'll even throw a clip of it in right now. So this just came in the mail, which means it is probably the title to my car and I probably paid it off and I'm so excited. So I wanted to share this with you guys. So I'm literally opening it legit right now. So I've not even looked, but I'm assuming that's what it is. <gasps> this is so exciting for me, you guys. Holy freaking crap right now. That's the title, titled my car. So freaking excited, you guys. That is amazing because I did that by myself. Like literally went and got my dream car by myself, paid it off by myself. Like I am just, I feel so good. Like this just feels like an accomplishment for me. I feel like I can conquer anything I put my mind to. And that's literally one of the, the best feelings. And I just, and that's what I want everyone to feel like. So, ah, oh, I'm so excited, you guys. I'm freaking out. <sighs> Yay! I literally paid off my car. I literally own it. And it's stupid because I'm literally going to be selling it soon. But just the fact that I paid it off, um, I just feel so good about it. And just actually getting to hold the title in my hand with my name on it, it just best feeling ever so um anyway i just wanted you guys to be a part of that experience of me getting to open it and to officially get it like i knew it was on the way for like the last month but just like <sighs> yay hey guys so good. i figured i would take you along uh, some of my work day um typically i do a lot of driving from place to place with my work so there's a lot of downtime where i can't really do much um because i'm literally driving in between places and like this one, I'm going about 30 miles from the last place that I was at. So that's a good chunk of my day at work. And um, obviously I can't really be on my phone a whole lot. Obviously this is hands-free, so I'm you know not texting and driving or anything like that. But I figured I would just kind of vlog and you guys can hang out with me on this little lengthy drive here and get a little bit of my my life. Um, I drive in a big city, so there's lots of traffic. 
Um, I definitely have moments of uh, times where I get really stressed out because I just have to sit in traffic and do nothing and it's frustrating. So why not make a use of this wonderful time and just hang out and talk to you guys and kind of get you guys familiar with who I am as a human. Um, a little bit of my backstory because I think that's what's really interesting about um, YouTubers and vlogs is just getting to know them and to get it to get to know our story and to connect with us. I think it's so fun. So a <clears throat> little bit about me. Um, I've moved around a lot. So I have lived all over in the South, Texas, Tennessee, Oklahoma. I think for a summer I was in Wisconsin when I was younger. I've lived in California, Southern California, and I lived in India. Yep, the country of India for a year. I was an exchange student in my junior year of high school. And I have lived primarily a majority of my older childhood and my adult life in Washington and Oregon um, with the hopes of moving to Southern California. That's the goal, that is the end goal. So that's what I am hoping for. That's what I'm working toward and that's what I'm striving for. I have family down there that I'm really close with. And um, yeah, I'm just, I really, I really love it down there. I like the vibe. Um, I really get to know people very well and connect with people. So that's kind of my, um, yeah, my plan. What else about me? I love running. I am a health and wellness enthusiast. Believe it or not, a lot of people, so I am a business owner and a lot of people, based off of my social media and me as a human, um, they think that my business is health and wellness based, but it's really not. Um, but I absolutely am a nut about health and wellness. I minored in nutrition in college and I just have a really big passion about it. Um, but I don't, my business does not, Oh, I've got to take an exit. Y'all, that's my life. <laughs> Woo! All right, we made it. You know, there's like multiple exits to get to some of these places. And apparently this is the exit they decided to send me home. <laughs> okay. Anyway, that's what's great about Apple Watch is I don't even have to look at my phone for directions. I can literally just look at my Apple Watch, which is great. So that way I can uh, talk to you guys and get directions at the same time. Anyway, um, I love, love running. I coach. Um, I've coached cross country in the past. I pretty much coach track now. I didn't this year because I got a promotion at work and my job is three hours away. Well, three hours driving all day. So it's about an hour and a half one way. And um, there's a lot of different things that go into my job that are time commitments. So I couldn't do coaching this year because I had to make my main job a priority this promotion so yeah um but I do I love I love coaching I absolutely love getting to shape the minds of um children be able to help shape our future generation because these are the children that are going to be leaders one day they're going to be your doctor they're going to be you know they're going to be the parents like if you ever decide to coach they might be your coach they might be the parents of the kids you coach and teaching them while they're young is so important and especially kids who are coming out of a rougher home life um, getting to help be that person that gets to take their mind off of that for a few not as a coach you're one of the people that they trust the most for me because I also went through abuse as a child and that's something I don't take lightly and it's something that in my life I really want to help and that's part of the reason I want to be a police officer so much is that I really want to help eliminate child abuse. I really want to make home lives better for kids and if it means that I do that through coaching or I do that through being a police officer, like that's just one of many goals I want to accomplish in my life. Um, I also want to empower women and it's because a lot of women these days it's really sad but like if you look at the statistics like abuse is it's pretty large for the women more so than men but it does happen to men too so I don't want to discredit the men um, but it happens the percentage is a lot higher for women and um, most women you know have been through some level of abuse which is super super sad but when 
kind of women go through abuse, no matter what abuse, whether it was sexual abuse, whether it was domestic violence, whether it was, you know, emotional or verbal abuse, a past relationship, they were cheated on. It really, women are more emotional than men and it really does like affect a lot of their mindset and a lot of their, um, a lot of their, no, I don't want to say, let's see, like they put their walls up because they're so guarded. There's the word guarded. And so it makes women and every woman reacts differently to the abuse that she's been through, but it makes them so guarded and react so differently. And sometimes women really tear themselves down internally a lot. And typically it comes to appearance because it's the easiest thing for women to attack is I don't like this about myself. And I really want to empower women and I want women to see it doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter what you've been through. You are a beautiful soul and you are going to do great things. You just have to believe in yourself and you only need one person to believe in you and you've got that support and I'm going to be that person. So if you guys need support, you put that in the comments, you put support in the comments. I will personally message you and we will chit chat and you will feel better because really what it comes down to is sometimes people just need someone to talk to. And there's so much going on in life that people forget that sometimes you could be that person that could save someone's life just by having a conversation or just by smiling at them. And that's my, my whole goal. And um, despite any business or job or anything that I have, that is one goal that I will always have is to empower women. And then I also want to help, you know, shape our future generation. I want to help, I want to help children be in a safe place. And I want them to grow up with that strength and that, that voice, because we need to have a voice. Women need to have a voice. Children need to have a voice. Men need to have a voice too. I don't want to discredit that. And I feel like I might just sound like I'm all about just women, but it's just because I'm a woman that's been through things and I can only speak for what I've been through. I'm not a guy. I haven't gone through the male side of things. So it's not that I'm discrediting men. It's just that I haven't been through that. So I can't speak or compare myself on that. But as a woman who has been through child abuse and has also been through, um, you know, I've been through verbal abuse, emotional abuse. There are a lot of things that I've been through that I can speak on behalf of when it comes to a woman and a child because I went through that. And um, I want to just change that because I've been through it. I know, I know how, how you feel. I can, I can relate and maybe not to the extent, maybe it, your situation was 10,000 times worse than mine. Maybe it went on longer. Maybe it's happened a million more times than it happened to me. But what it boils down to is that we've been through something. We've been through something that is horrible and should not happen to any human. And humans that haven't been through that have a harder time connecting and understanding that because they haven't been through it. But when it comes down to it, we have to bond together. We really have to have each other's back. We have to empower each other and stop like working against each other. Stop competing against each other. Stop trying to be the better woman. Like I went through worse stuff than you. So, so I, I'm stronger than you because I went through that. No, every, every type of abuse, every situation you go through at some level is, is horrible and causes the same amount of pain. And I just want people to, to understand that like going forward, like, you know, really empower each other, really find a way to uplift each other up, make each other feel stronger because we need more of that in this world. And, um, I can say that it was the people that are supposed to love you most that hurt me most. And I am super excited that I have the strength to overcome that. And I'm super excited that I'm able to share my story so confidently because there was a period of time when I was weak, when I did hit rock bottom, where I was literally hugging the toilet crying because I was so distraught and like lost my purpose. And that was the worst feeling. And I refused to let myself go through that again. Something just clicked about two and a half years ago. Something clicked and I was like, I am not going to be a victim anymore. I'm not. 
I was, but I'm not. Now I'm a survivor. Now I'm a badass. And now I'm going to do things that make me strong, that make me happy. And the people in my life, if they do not serve purpose that empowers myself and other people, then I don't have room for them. And it's it could be because they're going through something. And if they respond to me the way that I try to help them well, then I'm all for it, them being in my life and helping them through this thing because I feel like I feel like I want to do that. But if they're not open to it and they're more about negativity and tearing me or others down, then I just can't have that in my life because it's toxic. I have to let go of the toxicity in my life. And I had to let go of the people that you generally are supposed to love most in my life. I had to put them on the back burner, not because I don't love them. I will always love these people. The problem is, is I was letting the fact that I'm supposed to love them and that they're supposed to love me hurt me because I was like, I don't understand why this person doesn't love me. They're supposed to, why don't they? But I was only allowing myself to be hurt and I was allowing myself to be a victim. And I choose not to do that anymore. So I just wanted to get on here and chit chat with you guys for a little bit and kind of like get let you get to know my story a little bit, especially since this is gonna be the second episode. And um, I feel like this is a good time to really introduce myself. And hopefully later on down the road, I'll, uh, be able to reintroduce myself to our new crowd and if you haven't already hit subscribe at the bottom you can follow me on instagram or facebook all my links are down below and stay tuned for next week's episode because i will be trying my customers drinks so my business and branding myself has really put focus on the fact that I, I have an opportunity on social media to really expand and speak to the world. And that is why I decided to do this vlog. So as a big tribute and thank you to my customers for standing alongside me and supporting me, I am going to try their drinks. And let me tell you, you guys, I don't do almond. Like almond makes me sick and there's some almond drinks in there. I also don't really drink energy drinks and someone's got energy drinks in there. And one of my friends is talking about water with pumps and whipped cream. So this could get real interesting. So stay tuned for next week's episode. I post an episode a week right now. Um, that could change later on down the road. But for now, it's one a week. So stay tuned, subscribe, hit the bell so that you're the first one to get notified when my new episodes come out. And soon I'm going to be doing the 24-hour challenge of letting whoever in front of me in the drive-thru is going to pick my order. So you definitely want to subscribe so you don't miss out on that good stuff.